one of the bus companies that's been bringing migrants here from Texas has agreed to stop doing so. That's right. This comes in the midst of a lawsuit brought by the mayor. Morgan Mackay has the details. Texas bus company Roadrunner Charters has agreed to stop busing migrants to New York City and New Jersey while a court case plays out in Manhattan. In January, Mayor Eric Adams announced that he is suing 17 bus companies for their role in busing tens of thousands of migrants from Texas to New York City since the spring of 2022. Today's lawsuit should serve as a warning to all those who break the law in this way. The city is seeking more than $700 million from these 17 bus companies to cover the costs of caring and sheltering these migrants. As part of the lawsuit, the city was also requiring these companies to post a monetary bond to start covering the costs of caring for migrants who have already been transported here. But part of the agreement the city made with Roadrunner on Wednesday... They don't have to put any money up now, uh, and in return, they will uh, hit the pause button and agree that they're not going to be um, transporting uh, in this manner while the lawsuit's pending. Towards the end of last year, City Hall says they were receiving as many as 4,000 migrants a week from Texas. Since then, the surge has slowed, but city officials believe it might pick back up again in the summer. Last week, I believe it was 1,300, which is still a lot of people, Morgan, Like, but now we've been able to adjust with over 200 sites. We're not seeing eight to 10 buses a day, um, but we are still seeing about two to three buses a day still coming into New York City. Power Malou is the founder of artists, athletes and activists and has been a leader on the ground, helping direct newly arriving migrants to resources. Malou says he is against a lawsuit suing these bus companies and adds it has made their job more difficult when trying to find new arrivals. It's a little bit more difficult for us to, to get a grasp as to where they're going to exit. So we're still we're seeing a lot of people stranded around New York City and trying to figure out how to get to the intake center. More than 183,000 migrants have arrived here in New York City since the spring of 2022. Now the city is still waiting to be assigned a court date in this lawsuit against these 17 bus companies. Reporting from Midtown, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.